To rehab the breath and the abdominals, it can be really helpful to have a stretchy band, but a non-stretchy yoga belt or strap can also work for this. You'll tie it around your ribs, the base of your ribs, and make it pretty taut. So if it's stretchy, there should be a good amount of pull. You should feel that rubber band wrapped around your low ribs. And then come into your breath here. So as you inhale, expand. And as you expand, expand into that band to the front and also to the sides and also to the back. As you exhale, start the exhalation at the base of your pelvis. So imagine your tailbone zipping towards your pubic bone. And then continuing to these front hip points. Feel these hip points zip towards each other and then continuing to your front rib points, zipping those in towards each other, like you're trying to get this band to feel loose. And now inhale, push out into the band in all directions again, to the sides, to the back, as well as the front. As you exhale, zip, pelvic floor, low abdominals, upper abdominals, or rib cage pulls in. A few more times before we move, inhale, expand. Exhale, contract, zipping from the base of the pelvis to the abdomen, to the ribs, trying to get the band or the strap to feel loose. Inhale, expand, push out into the band. Exhale, contract, pelvic floor, lower abdominals, upper abdominals, ribs. Now inhale, expand. And as you exhale, pick up your right foot very lightly. Hover that right foot above the floor and slide it a few inches away without changing your spine, just zipping, stabilizing. So if you have your hands underneath your low back, your low back is staying in the same position. Inhale, slide that right foot in, switch sides. Exhale, zip from the tailbone to the pubic bone, to the hip points, to the ribs. Inhale, slide that foot back in. Exhale, zip. Keep that lower back still. Slide one heel away. Inhale, pull it back in, expand. Exhale, zip, sliding left heel away. Inhale, expand. One more time, exhale, zip through the core, slide the right heel away, maybe a little further now. Inhale, slide it back in. Exhale, zip. Notice which part is harder, pelvic floor, lower abdominals, or upper abdominals. Inhale, slide it back in. Now you also wanna check and make sure that the area in between the right and left sides of your abdominals is not separating. So you can do this the first time you begin to curl up. Inhale, expand into your band. Exhale, zip, pelvic floor, lower abdominals, upper abdominals, and then curl up and look and feel with your fingertips. Make sure you don't feel a point of separation in between the right and left sides. You wanna feel, uh, it might be a little more, uh, a little softer right in the center. You can feel a line there, but there's no divot. There's no valley in between the two sides when you curl up. Inhale as you come back down to the floor. If you do feel that divot, then you've gotta work differently to avoid exacerbating that diastasis, that, uh, that recti diastasis that's happening in the abdominals. So as long as that all feels good, we'll add the curl of the upper body. Taking the hands behind the head, exhale, scoop in the abdominals. You're still lifting through that pelvic floor, zipping up from the bottom to the top. Slide that right leg away, and as you do that, begin to curl up. Inhale, slide that foot back in. Exhale, zip from the bottom to the top. Left heel slides away, and we'll begin to curl in. Inhale, back to the mat. Two more times on each side. You zip, you slide that right leg away. It doesn't have to go all the way, and you curl up. And when you curl up, make sure your abdominals are still pulling down towards your spine. 
If you find they're popping up towards the ceiling, go back to just doing the heel slide. You don't have to lift the upper body yet. Inhale as you pull it back in. One more time on each side. Exhale, zip. Slide the heel. And then maybe curl up a little. Gradually increase that over time. Inhale, slide this back in. Exhale, zip. Slide that left heel away. Optional, begin to curl yourself up. Inhale as we take it down. Now, take a break and feel again, how do the abdominals feel? How does the lower back feel? We don't want those lower back muscles overworking. So if they are, again, take it back to just the heel slides. And take a few cat-cows, inhaling, lifting that low back so much you can fit your whole arm underneath it. And exhaling to press the lower back down, flattening it. Inhale as you lift it up. Exhale as you lower. One more time. Inhale, expanding and arching the back. Exhale, contracting, zipping, and imprinting that low back. So you can continue with heel slides or inhale, take your right leg up to the ceiling. Flex the foot. And as you exhale, start to reach that foot away. So you'll feel the point at which the abdominals might try to pop up to the ceiling or the lower back might start to pop up off the floor. That's too far. Only take the leg as far as you can go with all of this stability. Inhale, point the foot, sweep it back up to the ceiling. Exhale, zip and reach that right leg away. Inhale, point, sweep it up. Exhale, zip, reach the leg to the point of challenge. Inhale, point, sweep it up. Over time, as you get stronger, you're gonna lift that left leg. Inhale, point it up. Exhale, flex, reach it away. Inhale, point, sweep it up. Notice I don't have to take that leg as far on the right side anymore, now that I've lifted the left leg. One more. And then switch sides. Put that right foot down. Stretch that left leg up. As you exhale, zip. Even the ribs pull in as you reach the leg away. Inhale, point. Sweep it up. Expand. Exhale, flex. Press it away. Inhale, point. Sweep it up. Exhale, flex it away. Keep your chin close to your chest. Inhale, point. Sweep it up. Exhale, flex it away. Inhale, point, sweep it up, expand. When you're ready, you'll lift that right foot. It only has to be when you no longer feel challenged to those abdominals with the right foot on the floor. Two more. Sliding your chin towards your chest. Only taking that left leg as far as you need to to feel this. Keep pulling your ribs in, and inhale, take that leg up. Hug the legs in towards you, rock a little side to side, and from here we'll twist. So we can keep, keep the knees as they are, take them over to the right, stretch that left arm out, or you can begin to extend that top leg, get a little hamstring and hip stretch. Hold on to the foot with your right hand as you turn to look to your left thumb. Breathing in, breathing out, breathing in, breathing out. One more option here. Begin to wiggle your bottom leg back and see about taking hold of that foot with your left hand. And then wiggle that left shoulder back down to the mat. Now you're stretching the right hamstring, uh, sorry, the left hamstrings and the right hip flexors at the same time. Notice as the chin begins to lift, slide it back towards your chest. And take two more slow breaths. slowly unwind back to center. And as you exhale, start by bringing the bent knees over to the left. 
Let that right shoulder relax. And then if you like, you might straighten out the right leg, find the hamstrings, hold on to the foot with your left hand. Breathe here as you turn to look to the right and drop that right shoulder down. Wiggle the bottom foot and the leg back to the center of your mat and then see if that right hand can take hold of the foot. Settle the right shoulder back down to the mat, turning your chest up towards the ceiling. Reach your right hip away from your right underarm and draw your chin towards your chest. And deep breath in. Full breath out. Deep breath in. And full breath out. And then slowly unwind, taking everything back to center. Shavasana.